Greetings, this is Gana from Robotics and Energy and today I'm going to show you how to use our expert system that we've developed. We've developed an expert system that basically assists a computer technician to repair a PC or diagnose a malfunction and offer a solution or a repair. Okay, and the system was developed in a programming language called Prolog, which is based on logic programming. And today I'm going to show you how to run and use the interface and how, how the program actually works. So let's go to the folder of the program and we are going to PL bin and we want to run the PL win application. Okay. Okay, so there's this command prompt opened here and what we want to do first is go to file, consult and we want to consult this expert.pl file which contains all of the necessary functions and libraries. Let's open that. Okay, and this file contains the command called load. So I write, I write load dot, and the dot is very important. And the command runs all of the all of the other libraries, and it consults them by itself, and automatically runs the software. And we're shown this lovely interface. So this is the introduction page. Let's click. Okay, and now we're brought to the main menu. Here we can do a few things. We can start diagnosing a malfunction immediately, um, go to the dictionary of terms, which I will show you later, return to the previous page, or exit the program. All right, so let's diagnose a malfunction, and we are brought to the malfunction menu. Okay, now if my PC is not working properly and I I know to uh, which category the problem is uh, related, I can choose that category and we may start the diagnostics from there. In other cases, I may not know what's the problem and we have the I am not sure option. Okay, so let's say I have a PC that is not working and I don't know why. So let's click I'm not sure and the software, the system will ask all of the necessary questions to identify the problem. Okay, so the first question we're asked is can the system turn on? Okay, let's say no, the system cannot turn on. Next, it asks us if the power outlet is working. Okay, now let's say I do not know how to answer this question. So we have the explain option where the system will explain the question with more detail. And here we can see that if power is not coming on, double check the cord that is plugged into the left socket firmly. Uh, firmly seated back of the power supply, you do not need a digital multimeter to check your power outlet, unplug power, and explains us how to check the, the power outlet to see if, if it has power. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say it does work. So, next thing we're asked is if the PSU supports a universal input. Let's say I do not know what is this PSU term means. So, uh, at any given moment, I can go to the dictionary of terms and find the term there and see an explanation. Okay, so let's scroll down here and here is the PSU. 
Okay, a power supply unit, PSU, converts AC lo to low voltage regulated power for the different parts of the computer. Okay, we can uh, read and learn what how it functions and what it does to un better understand how to answer the question. And now that we know what a PSU is, we may go back to the diagnostic and continue the diagnosis. Okay, so let's say it does support universal input. Yes, that's not the problem. Now, it asks us if the front power switch is connected properly to the motherboard. Uh, explain, how do I know that? One reason PSU won't turn on when you press the switch, if the switch lead has separated from the motherboard, uh, this lead usually labeled PW on or PW, which means power switch, etc. etc. Let's say uh, it is connected properly, and next question is is the switch broken? Uh, here we need to take out the switch and run a continuity check on the switch and you know what let's say uh, yes it was broken and I cannot turn on my computer because of that so uh, we've reached the conclusion replace the power switch right and from here we have two options one option is that the, the problem was not solved yet which means we have other problems to solve and the other option is the problem is solved and we may stop the diagnostic and go to the conclusions menu and we shall do exactly that here we may click a few options and we may explain the conclusion okay conclusion is uh, to replace the power switch because we answered that uh, the power switch was broken after we checked okay um, we may also see a flow chart of all the questions and the answers that we gave and how we've reached the conclusion the final conclusion okay we may also check the dictionary of terms again Let's just finish the diagnosis and go to the main menu. All right, here we are. Exit. And that was it. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much and have a great day.